Hello everyone, welcome to Bot Penguin. Today we will discuss how you can create a new chat flow on the platform of Bot Penguin. To create a new chat flow, you firstly have to select the bot for which you want to create a chat flow. On the left hand side, you will find the bots option. Just click on that and then choose the chat board for which you want to create a chat flow. For the demo purpose, I am using this Instagram chat board. You can follow the same steps for creating a chat flow for any of the platforms. After selecting the chat board, navigate to the edit your chat flow section. You will land on this page where you can see the list of all the flows that you have created. You can also see the number of messages component in that chat flow. You can also see the date on which the flow has been created and the date on which the flow has been last modified. You can also manage the default flow and the revisit flow from here. If you want to know in detail how you can manage default and revisit flow, then the video link of the same will be given in the description box below. You can check it out. And you can also take any actions from this. That is, you can edit the chat flow, you can delete the chat flow, or you can download the chat flow into your system. And you can also edit your chat flow name by clicking on this button. Now coming to the main thing, how you can create a new chat flow. On the right hand side, you'll find the create new flow button. Just click on that. Here you have to enter the flow name. For the demo purpose, I am entering flow 3. And then you have to click on the create flow button. After clicking on the create flow button, you will land on this page. This is the classic builder where you can create or reorder your chat flow. You can see some already added components. You can also delete them if you want or you can also keep them in your chat flow. To add the chat components into your chat flow, on the left hand side you'll find all the chat components. Here are the frequently used components. You can add any message to your chat flow. You can add any name to your chat flow. For example, the name component will look like this. Please provide your name and the user will reply to this message. You can also edit the message in the customized bot messages section. To edit the message, you can delete this message and write whatever you want. What is your name? And you can see the bot has been updated successfully. That means your message has been updated. After that, you can map the next message by clicking on the go to next message button. And what message do you want to appear after this message? For example, I have added this phone number chat component here. And I want this message to appear after the what is your name message. So I'll map it here. Please provide your phone number. So the bot has been updated successfully. The messages have been connected to each other. And after the please provide your phone number message, I want the email message to appear. So I will map the email message by clicking on this button. What is your email address? And the bot is updated successfully. That means these messages have also been mapped to each other. Then we have the single choice chat component that you can add to your chat flow. Where users can select any options from these two. Or you can also increase the number of options by clicking on the plus button here. You can edit the message text from here. And you can also edit the options from here. For an example, I am writing what is your favorite color and then I'm giving few color options here for example red blue green and yellow and you can see the message text and the options text has been updated successfully the user can select any of these options. You can also select the next message for each of the options. For example, if the user selects the red option, then what is the next message you want to show to the user? For example, I want how are you doing today after the user selects the red option. Similarly, if the user selects the blue option, then I want any another message to show that is please provide your phone number. Similarly, you can select the go to next messages for the green and the yellow options. And the chat flow will continue like that. After that, we have the text question section where the user can type any question or any statement in the reply of this message. And you can also integrate the chat GPT from here. Here you can click on the train your AI button to integrate the chat GPT. And you can select the go to next message from this option. 
after that we have the request information section where you can request any information from the user that is you can ask their name you can ask their phone number you can ask their email you can give them any single choice question and ask for their answer. You can give them any text question and ask for their answer. And you can also ask the users for their location by adding the location component here. You can also ask the user to enter any number by adding the numeric input component here. You can also add a smart question section here. Here you can edit the message and here you can enter any smart keyword. For example, I have entered zero here. So if the answer of the user contain this keyword zero, then I have to select the next message, which I want to show to the user after he types this keyword. If you want to know about the smart keyword chat component in detail, then the video link of it will be given in the description box below. You can check it out and you can also add this API component and manage real time information in your chat flow. You can configure the API settings from the right hand side. Here you can see the by default response code options. You can also edit them and you can select the next message by clicking on the go to next message option. And then you can configure your API by clicking on the configure APIs button. Then you can also send information to the user. You can add the message component to send any message to the user or you can add the image component. Here you can edit the message text or you can add any of these to send to the user and you can also upload your image by clicking on this button. And you can also insert the image URL here by clicking on the link. The users will be redirected to the image that you have provided. And then you can select the next message by clicking on this button. You can also send any video to the user. You can add any video link as well by clicking on the link. The users will be redirected to the video that you have provided. Or you can also upload any video by clicking on this button. Then we have the web link chat component where you can send any website link to the user. You can select the titles from here and you can also edit the message from here. To go to the next message, you can click on this button and you can select the next message that you want to show to the user. Then you can also add any trigger action component. That is, you can send users to a live chat after a point in your chat flow. Here you can click on the manage team to manage your team members. If you want to know in detail about the team members and the roles that you can give to the team members, then the video link of the same will be provided in the description box below. You can check it out. And you can also add chat GPT to answer users query beyond any point in your chat flow. By clicking on the train your AI button, your chat GPT will be integrated into your chat. So this was the classic builder which we were using to create and reorder our chat flow. You can also use the visualize flow option. Here you can add any new component by clicking on the add new component button. You can see the same components are also available here which we have used in the classic builder. You can add any component from these. And then you can map the component together. For example, after this message, I want this message to show. So I'll connect them together to create a chat. And hence the chat flow can be created after mapping these messages together. Then you can test your chat flow that you have created by clicking on this button. So that was all about how you can create a new chat flow. If you need any help, you can refer to our help documentation. The link of the same will be provided in the description box below. Thank you.